double delight or double disaster we're going to find out after these next two important games welcome back guys to Sun of Scotland it is the Hearts FC 24 career mode we have two games today and both of them are absolute must wins first of all we're taking on St Mirren who are sitting third in the table then we're taking on Hibs in the Edinburgh Derby who are sitting fourth in the table two positions we'd love to be in right now but we're not. You have to go a lot lower down the league table to find us. We are down in 8th place. We are 18 points behind St Mirren and 16 points behind Hibernian. That's the bad news. There is no good news. Now, the only lesser bad news is that if we can beat both St Mirren and Hibernian today, we're obviously guaranteeing to take 3 points off both of them. And they have pretty difficult fixtures. Hibs are taking on Rangers, St Mirren are taking on Mullerwell. Maybe they can slip up in those games. That's what we need to hope. But at the end, it's not going to matter if we don't win our games. We need to beat them both and we need to hope that they slip up and then start moving up the table. But slowly but surely, before we can catch Hibs, before we can catch St Mirren, we need to catch the teams in front of us. Dundee, St Johnston. We need to catch them. We need to move into the top six and then focus on the teams that are occupying those European spots. But I think this is it, guys. Two games left in December. Then we'll be into January. Transfer window open. Scottish Cup will be happening. This is a big, big period in this career mode. It is now or never. If we can turn it around here, if we can get two wins, then who knows? Maybe this season, this, this season is still salvageable. But if, if we don't, if we don't win today, then this season is done and dusted. And for all we know, we could be out of a job at heart. So massive games coming up. We need to win them. Let's get into the first one. Let's take three points against St Mirren. Here is the St Mirren team. Bit of a weird one. They're going with a, I want to say a 4-1-2-3. Or is it a 4-3-3? Three, three? Either way, I wasn't expecting St Mirren to line up with this. But this is the formation that they're going with. Hemming, Tanzer, Taylor, Godzik, Strain, Fraser, Bacchus, O'Hara, McMenamum, Kelty and Ayunga. And I think one of the funny things is here, I'm actually considering, there's three players in this team that I'm actually considering signing in January. So, um, yeah, if we can't beat St Mirren, maybe we just have to steal all their best players. But that is the St Mirren team for this game. And this is how we're going to line up. It's not our strongest team, it's not a fully fit team, but it's the best that we can muster up here. So, the 11 players taken to the pitch for Hearts will be Clark, Halliday, Kingsley, Kent, Sibic, Benjamin, Devlin, Forrest, Lowry, Tagawa, and Lawrence Shankland. We're through our last two games. We should have won them both. We now need to start getting three points. One point is not enough. We're averaging one point per game, and that is not where we need to be. We need to be averaging about two points a game, and had we been averaging two points a game, we would currently be one point ahead of St Mirren. So that's what we need to be doing. We haven't done it so far this season, but we've still 19 games to go, starting with this one today. So plenty of time to turn it around, but it needs to happen now. Let's go. Oh no, don't be doing this to us. Do oh my god. And Benny Benjamin's off. And quite possibly the worst start to the game we could make. Benny Benjamin and, and Stephen A. Smith. He can't believe it. And neither can I. How do how how do you even it, it's poor we, we should never give them how do we even do that though? Benjamin sent off and we are down to ten men. Sander Clark comes out makes a save and I mean I, I knew this was going to be difficult to win both of these games it's only went and got a lot harder now what can we do here though chance through to Forrest and Forrest is going to go on to this can Forrest put Hearts 1-0 up he's got Shankland he doesn't need Shankland Alan Forrest gives Hearts the lead we're four minutes into the game we're down to 10 men but we're a goal up how the hell has this happened honestly I've no idea we'll take it I'd rather have 11 men, I'd rather have 11 men hole on the pitch, but at least we've got a goal advantage, and Alan Forrest just ran onto that, no one could keep up with his pace, and he's put it past the goalkeeper, he had Shankland for support, didn't need Shankland, and Alan Forrest gets an important goal there, and gets us right in this game, even though we're down to 10 men, we have the lead, so some things are going for us, not everything is going against us, it's 1-0. Doing well to win it back, what can they do from here? Oh no, give it away! Oh, and Stephen Kingsley, he's made a, me he's made a mess there. And it, it's it's one each already, seven minutes into the game. It's an absolute disaster. It's an, we, we get in front and then look at this. Uh, it's, it's not even Stephen Kingsley, it's Kent. It's Frankie Kent. Just gave him the ball. And that's our, our lead has been wiped out. Our lead has been wiped out. And we've done the damage ourselves. 
Suicide defending that was. Just gave them the ball. And now Forrest, what can Forrest do? Fair play to him, trying to get right back in this, trying to get his back in front. Shanklin now with possession, Shanklin towards Lowry, Lowry. Oh, nice wee step over for Lowry, wins the corner. That's good for Lowry, 10 minutes in, fast paced action here. Forrest with the delivery, Shanklin's in the middle. Can we get this? We can't, it's going to be Kingsley. Kingsley back to Lowry. Lowry, oh, Lowry's overran that, just took a, too much of a heavy touch and... Hearts have to get back, and we have to get back in numbers because St Mirren are attacking in numbers, and we could be in a little bit of danger here. Kingsley, oh no, Kingsley needed to get that. Oh, Santa Clark gets a one hand on it, and now it's cleared to Forrest. And Forrest has been our best player here. What's he, what can he offer this time? He plays it to Lowry, and Lowry just loses it. Lowry gets out muscled off the ball. But we win it back through Shankland. We lose it again. Civic with it. Now it's Lowry. Lowry to Kingsley. Kingsley looking to cut back the way. And now he's opened up a little bit of space. He finds Lauren Shanklin. And Shanklin just... Shanklin loses it. Well, and we win it back through Cammy Devlin. But can't maintain possession of the ball. Like I say, this is crazy here. The, the, the action is hard to keep up with. I can't believe it's 1-1. can't believe we're down a man. It's been a shocking start to the game. Ben Enjimi gets a rare start. And he fucks it right up. And now it's a chance for St Mirren. It could be dangerous here. It is dangerous, but we win the ball. The referees deemed it a free kick, though. And I mean, I think, you know, in these areas, you have to expect a world-class strike, and that's why we're getting someone on the line here. Because I am expecting world... Oh, what a bicycle kick clearance that is. Can Lowry get to this? Can Kent get to this? Kent slides in. Fantastic for Kent. He may have cost the goal, but he might have saved one there. Kent making up for his error. Earlier in the match, now it's headed towards goal, and Sander Clark just double barrel hands that over the over the crossbar. So Mirren look like they might be taking this one short. We might have a lot of defending to do today, especially with that man disadvantage, and it's in towards the middle. And Civic's there. Civic does well now. Civic turns around, and Civic can be getting forward, but he's getting chased by Ayunga. Civic has to go back to Kingsley. Kingsley. In towards Frankie Kent. The ball, Frankie Kent. Kent to Halliday. Andy Halliday. Halliday to Forrest. Back to Halliday. Forrest now. Waiting for the run of Shanklin. Shanklin still with it. Shanklin to Kent. Frankie Kent. Now it's Kingsley. Kingsley Hearts passing a bit pretty well here. Kingsley still with the ball. Kingsley driving now into the St Mirren half. Now and it's to Forrest. Happen. It's now Andy Halliday of all people. And... What can Andy Halliday do? Cross in, back pose. Oh, it's a mistake for the keeper. Oh, he's took his own man out and will try to contest the ball. Hemming grabs onto it with both hands. He collects it and I think the advantage was given to St Mirren there. But, I mean, we're still in this game. We're, we're not We're fighting. We're not giving up. We're, we're a man down. But we will be here till the end. And now it's a chance. Come on, get that bright tackle for Frankie Kent. Halliday collects. Halliday towards Forrest. Forrest to Lowry. Lowry in towards Shankland. Shanklin spinning around. Shanklin to Forrest. Forrest lays it off to Halliday. Now it's back to Devlin. Devlin. Devlin still with the possession of the ball here. Devlin to Tagawa. And Tagawa some step overs. Back to Kent. Halliday. Kent. Oh, and where's that? Where is that going for Frankie Kent? A couple of his passes have been shocking in this game. I mean, the first shocking pass he did actually cost us a goal. Could this one cost us a goal too? It may. It's over the top. Can kill to keep it in. Unfortunately, he can, and Sipic's almost killed him. Now St. Mirren looking for a way through. It's a Yunga. A Yunga, I don't like this. A Yunga. St. Mirren, oh, we've just about got that there. Sipic now clears it, and now the counter could be on Tagawa. Can Hearts get bodies forward here? Oh my god, Tagawa just gives it away. Shocking there for him. We're sliding in. We're trying to get to that, and it's going to be the Hearts throwing. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be a free kick, either that or a St Mirren throwing. But we got the throwing now. Civic, Civic to Tagawa. Tagawa still with the ball. Tagawa to Shankland. Still Shankland. Shankland now, and a bit of space. Shankland takes a shot, saved the keeper. Couldn't hold on to it. He parries it away. St Mirren survive. Massive strike there for Lauren Shankland. And St Mirren holding on here. I mean, they're the team with an extra man, but we're the team that 
We're looking more likely now to get ahead. Going into half time, right? It's Forrest. Shankland. Can we play it back to Forrest? Lauren Shankland lays it off to Andy Halliday. Andy Halliday now. Can he get across in? He's getting to the bypass. Come on, Andy Halliday. Get across in. It's not a bad area to be fair. It's headed away. Kevin Devlin needs to win that. He doesn't. St. Mirren will probably deal with this. And I think they have. St. Mirren taking care of the danger for now. We're pressing. We're going to press, but St. Mirren dealing with it. And it will be half time, surely. Yeah, it's half time, guys. It's 1 1. St. Mirren, Hearts, nothing separates them. But there is a man difference, and that is going to make all the difference you feel in this second half. I don't really want to take Lowry off, because I think we're dealing pretty well with this. It's not ideal, but I think, okay, we're just going to move Benenjami there. And we'll play Cami Devlin in a more central role. But I, I can't really afford to drop Lowry deeper, because we need to win this game. So therefore, I think we need to keep Lowry. Uh, advanced, but I mean it is a tight game. We're in it. It might be just a case of getting one goal. The next goal could win this, and if it's us, then you know we we could somehow come away with a massive three points here. But you know how it works. We could also lose this, and it will only take one bad moment at the back for us, and that could be the case. So it is absolutely vital here that we defend for our lives, and if we get an opportunity, we need to take it. It's Forest, Forest to Kiami Devlin, Devlin towards Tagawa, Tagawa. Space open up for Tagawa, took a shot, Shankland, Shankland now out to Sebic, Sebic cuts back, looks for Forrest at the back post, that was a chance and it's going to be Lowry to Devlin, Devlin takes a shot, it's not good enough, it's well wide of the target and St Mirren will survive that scare, great tackle, oh no, it was a great tackle but uh, they've got away with this and it's, oh no, it's at the back post and it says two, it's fucking bullshit, that's, no, that's what it is. We made a tackle, St Mirren got the luck of the bounce, the bounce of the ball, it broke into the path, and they break hearts here at Tynecastle. Not happy, man. We, we won the ball and they picked him out, yeah, he's open at the back. What can we do, really? We're down to 10 men, of course there's going to be space. Unfortunately, we couldn't stop that from happening. And St Mirren have the lead here. And they don't they don't deserve it, they really fucking don't. But they have it. And I mean now they look like they're gonna try and add to it, but we need to take care of that and we do. Now it's Kent. Kent to Devlin, Devlin. Devlin still with the ball. Cammy son, come on. Cammy Devlin, we need some magic for you. Devlin's gonna go on his own here perhaps. Still Devlin. Devlin to tag up. Tagawa to Forrest. Forrest now. Oh, and that's a poor ball. And Civic can't keep it in. Ah, oh, Hearts were putting the pressure on, but eventually we just overplayed it. It gives St. Mirren a chance to, to break. And that's what they have here. St. Mirren playing their way for the back. Civic trying to get to that. And he does eventually get to it. Now it's Devlin to Civic to Shankland. Shankland's lost it. And it's not good when Shanklin's losing it. When Shanklin's losing the ball up front, we know we're in a bit of trouble. Civic then just sticks a leg out. Doesn't really work. St Mirren holding on to it. Can we get that off Taylor? We can't. And I think we've committed a foul there. So, not good. Hopefully we don't go down to nine men. O'Hara will launch this one and it's going to be taken care of. Right, let's go. Counter attack. Ah, oh, man, look at that. Just fucking shite. And Shanklin then commits a foul. And he picks up a yellow card for his troubles. Oh, it's a good save from Sander Clark. And I tell you what, we're a bit fortunate there. Uh, we're going to bring on George Grant. We are desperate now. We cannot afford to lose this game. We're bringing on George Grant. Will that make a difference? I guess we'll find out. Ball now played to Toby Civic. Civic is just going to bomb forward. And I don't think it's going to work. But he keeps it in. And this could be a, oh, it's a nice bit of play here. Tagawa's through. Can Tagawa score a goal? Tagawa tries to squeeze it in. It's, it's, he's, not, he's never going to score for that, but I mean, it's a, it's a chance, I guess, for this ball in towards Shackland. Oh, it's headed over by, saved over by Hemming. Oh, man, just when I thought we got back in it, Forrest, another delivery needs to be good. Head up towards goal. No way, get up. Oh, my Christ, it better clear it up the line. I can't even believe that. What the fuck do we have to do? To get in front, George Grant. 
George Grant. Grant now busting into the middle. It's Grant. Grant. Through. Oh my god, it's behind. Behind Tagawa. I mean, Tagawa should get to this, but I mean, still, come on. Time is ticking away here. Devlin. Devlin. It's, oh no. Oh, that's poor. Who is that? That guy needs shot. Whoever that was, to give the ball away. Now, can they hit them on the counter? And now St. Mirren looking like they could put the nail in the coffin here. St. Mirren looking extremely dangerous coming forward. They're holding on to the ball. They've got the ball. Oh my god, they've took us out of control here. Good tackle for Kingsley. He finally gets ready. Oh, and that's a poor pass, whoever that is. I think it's Tagawa. Needs to be better. Needs to pick out somebody in the maroon shot. Doesn't find him. We win it back again. Devlin now to Forrest. Forrest looking for Grant and Grant's Grant. through. George Grant. Grant cuts back. It's George Grant. It is Very Forrest. Oh, and he skied it over. Oh, man. Forrest skies it over. And, and Stephen Kingsley's going to get a booking that I don't even know what for. Oh, we win it. Come on. Mackay. To Grant. Get forward. Oda. To Forrest. Forrest through to Shankland. Back to Forrest. Forrest must score. He does. Great team goal there. Fantastic. Shankland to Forrest. To Forrest. To Shankland. To the back of the net. Brilliant stuff. We're back in it. We might be down to 10. But we're staying in this game. Alan Forrest with a brace. Can he be the hero? Could you imagine the scenes if we get an Alan Forrest hat trick here? Holy crap. But then put... Oh no. How can we do that? How can you defend like that? Alan Forrest needs to get back here. He's not done it. He's not done it. Oh, it's a block. I think for Cammy Devlin. That could be a crucial block. It was a block. Cammy Devlin concedes a corner, but we'll take that. Forrest brings it down on his chest. He scored two goals. Can he Can he help us get a third? I don't know. Tagawa here. Tagawa to Grant. To Oda. Oda playing it out to Tagawa. Tagawa's going to get to this, but what kind of condition will he be in? Oh, my God, Tagawa. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ball now played out wide, and... St Mirren have got bodies forward and we're struggling to get back in time. What a tackle that is, I tell you what. Stephen Kingsley, eat your heart out. We're going to bring on Haring here for Tagawa. It's not ideal. It's not really the man that's going to come on and get us a goal, but we need to do something. We have to do anything we can. and We can't lose it there. We cannot lose it there. And Oda gets away with it. Come on. Oda now with the ball. Oda to Shankland. Shankland back now to Forrest. Forrest. Grant. Oda. Ball played out now to Forrest, Forrest, chest it down, it's Forrest, it's a chance, it's, oh, Shankland, it's Oda! Oda! It's fucking Oda, we can't let it go! We're scored, we're scored at Tencastle, we're celebrating in front of the whole fans, I don't believe it, I don't know how we've done it, but we have done it, and Oda is the man, the fans are going absolutely crazy, Oda who we brought on as a sub, he wasn't even fit. But I brought him on, and we have scored on the counter. It's a fantastic goal. Shankland laid it off, and we took that. We worked for that, and we've got it. And now, guys, we need to get everybody back. We need to defend for our lives. Oda puts his free two up with about what, two minutes remaining. What a goal there from the Japanese man. He's celebrating. He deserves that. And now we need to make the subs. Now we need to get ourselves in a position where we can hold on. And this is it guys, this is the formation that we're going with, we're going with a 6-3-0. <laughs> Craig Lefame would be proud, can it get us the result? You know what, we'll also bring on, um, we'll bring on Boyce, why not, for Shankland. And, and oh, we're out of, okay, we won't do that. <laughs> Let's go, let's see if we can see this game out. We just have to defend for our lives, if we defend for our lives, we win. Defend for our lives and we win. Simple as that. Just sit back. Don't allow them through. Do not allow them through. Shankland there. Just have to force him back. No, don't push forward. Do not press forward. Just sit back. And we should be... Nate, three minutes have on time. We've already played a minute of that. We've already played a minute of that. So, let's just keep it going. Do not allow him through. Oh, no, no, no. Do not allow him through. Oh, my God. Our player just went invisible. Our player just went invisible. Oh my god, why are our players disappearing? 
Why are our players disappearing? They're trying to screw us at this win. Oh, we've won. We've won. But our players disappeared there. Multiple times our defenders were disappearing and giving St. Lurin away through. I mean, that's the best win of the season so far. We needed that. We've got it. We deserved it. It's a fantastic win. But our players were disappearing at the end. I mean, I don't even know why. I mean, look at this. It's like we've won the, it's like we've won the title. All the hearts. <laughs> the hearts players have run onto the pitch. Tyne Castle's packed out. They're singing their hearts out. And look at that, we're celebrating our win against St Mirren here. But what an important win that could be. That is arguably the most crucial win we will get. And it's, it's going to be post-match interview time. It has to be. It has to be. You can't get a win like that and then not celebrate it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to celebrate it the way only Stephen Naismith can. So Benenge may suspend it. Yeah, it's an absolute bummer. I'm disappointed in him. Uh, it's, a, it's a massive. He could have cost us today. You know, we won. So in the end, it wasn't a disaster, but it could have been. Forrest, um, yeah, he capped a good display. Forrest was the man today. Um, we have to... I know these I know these lads keep going to the ferry last minute, and that's what we done today, and it got us the win. So I'm absolutely buzzing. You cannot take this away from me right now. The way I feel, I feel fucking great. And if you look at that, Hibernian lost to Rangers. Aberdeen also lost. So the teams that we need to try and catch got beat there. Aberdeen lost, Hibernian and St Mirren. All three of them lost. And now we've closed the gap. Aberdeen are only six points ahead. Hibernian are only 13 points ahead with the Edinburgh Derby up next. And St Mirren are only 15 points ahead. And I know it's a lot. I know I'm saying only, but it's better than what it was. And if we can go and beat Hibernian now, we can bring the gap down to Hibs to six, uh, no, ten even. Maths is a bit poor, so yeah. So, uh, ten points getting a bit carried away. I, I wish it was six, but if we beat Hibernian, we bring the gap down to ten. And then look at that. So Johnson and Dundee, two teams that we could leapfrog. Dundee have a home game against Kelly. St. Johnson play Rangers. This next game's crucial. The likelihood is if we win, we'll at least go ahead of St. Johnson, because I don't see St. Johnson beating Rangers at Ibrox. So if we can win this next game... If we can beat Hibernian, not only do we close the gap to them down to 10, but we also move into the top six. So this is it, guys. We've got... It's in front of us. We just need to reach out and take it. All right, this is it, guys. Edinburgh Derby Day. Here is the Hibernian lineup. We have to win this. Let's make sure we can do it. Wallacott in Nets. Obita, Fish, Rocky and Caden is the back four. Jago as the captain in the middle between the defence and the midfield. He'll be linking up the play, trying to stop us from getting forward. Doyle, Hayes and Campbell in the central area. We've got Yuan on the left, Boyle on the right and Lafondra up front. First of all, up front on the attack, this team has got pace out wide and it's got a goal scorer in the middle. So I know we need to be damn near perfect here if we are going to win this game. 100% we need to be absolutely on it. As for our team, we have more fitness issues so I'm not entirely sure if we start Shankland, do we give Shankland the benefit of the doubt? Do we give Oda the benefit of the doubt? Do we give Mike? I don't know. I mean, Forrest played well in the last game, but he's got fitness issues. Tago has got fitness issues. We are struggling. There's no doubt about that. With the fitness issues, we are struggling. I think we're actually going to play Grant instead of Lowry. Now, I am tempted to do that. We, we could play Liam Boyce instead of Shankland. Boyce is an option. Boyce is an option, and we have Shanklin from the bench. Now, could that work? And what about Kingsley over Rowles? I think we might do that as well. And maybe that will be the team. Maybe that's it. Maybe this is the team here. Is that it? Is that it? I think it is it. Clark, Cochrane, Kingsley, Halkett, Atkinson, Devlin, Neymanhoff, Mackay, Oda, Lowry, and Bo That's it, guys. That's the team that's going to win this Edinburgh Derby. Let's find out. Please, fingers crossed. If we win this, I'm not going to say our season has been saved, but we're in a position where we can salvage it. If we lose this, then it kind of just undoes the whole submit and win. So, I mean, this is massive. 100%. This result is absolutely massive. We have to win this. It's Edinburgh Derby Day. Who's going to be king of the capital when this one is all said and done? I mean, hopefully us. It has to be us. We're going to find out whether or not it will be us. Boyce gets us off in this game and we are underway. Let's go, guys. We need the same sort of performance against St Mirren. Although this time, if we can keep all 11 men on the pitch, that would be great. Halkett getting forward already. Interesting to see what Halkett's doing here. Trying to play it out. Lowry. Oh, it's not even Lowry. I think it's... Uh, is it Lowry? No, Lowry is playing. I thought we started Grant instead of Lowry, but we must have decided to play Lowry instead. Uh, quick change at the end there. I wasn't expecting... Oh, no. And here we go already. Caught open at the back. And it could be a chance. It's 
But Kingsley, oh, Kingsley's done fantastically well there. Stephen Kingsley, what a man. Oda now trying to look for Barry Mackay. He finds him eventually, and Barry Mackay holds on to it. Does well there. It's Devlin. And now, oh, trying to get it forward. Didn't make it work. We've won it back, though, Atkinson. Atkinson now to Oda. And what's Oda got in store here? Looking for it. Lowry, he's picked him out. Lowry. Still Lowry. Lowry lays it off to Cochrane. Cochrane to Lowry. Still Lowry with the ball. Lowry with some step overs. Lowry against Caden. Lowry turns back. He finds Neuwenhoff. And Neuwenhoff just couldn't make that work there. It was a chance, but unable to get a shot off. Liam Boyce. Boyce to... Oda takes a shot and it is going to be a corner. So 10 minutes in. We've been okay here. We'll start it not bad. Let's see what Oda can do with this corner though. Oda, ball into the middle. It's a chance here. Header towards goal. It's Alkit with the header. It's cleared off the line. Ball now back to Oda. Oda trying to get past this Hibernian man. Obita, he couldn't do it. And now we slide in and we won the ball there. I think but the referee deemed it a foul and I think he is going to call that back and potentially even dish out a wee yellow card there. But... Oh, for God's sake! And just like that, number 19. I think it's Jago. Is it Campbell? I don't even know who it is. Lafondra. He scores. Just not happy with that defending. Johan, we've been caught on the break. Uh, we couldn't deal with it. Hips had too many bodies getting forward, and we've been punished there big time. Back Barry Mackay does well to get away for Caden. What's Barry Mackay got in store here? Cuts back. Barry Mackay looking dangerous here. Still Barry Mackay. Nice feet work. Now it's Newmanhoff. Oh, Oda. Oh, his pass just cut out there in the end. Lowry slides in. Needs to be careful. Does not want to give away a second yellow. We cannot afford to go down 10 men. You are now trying to get away for Halkett. Can Halkett get across here? Can Halkett do something? He can. That's good for Craig Halkett. And then Kingsley plays it to Atkinson. Hearts playing their way out from the back, good stuff, and now Boyce has made a run, but Oda didn't find them, and oh my god, I don't know what that is for Oda, changed their mind at the last moment. Brilliant tackle for Kingsley, he won the ball, do not even think about giving a penalty there, it was a fantastic tackle, now Atkinson plays it out to Oda, Oda looking for options, we can't get him up here, we were behind against St Mirren, we need to keep going. It's to Lowry. Lowry now back out towards Atkinson. Atkinson will keep this in. Atkinson now towards Oda. Oda looking for Boyce. He almost squeezed it through, but just couldn't, couldn't quite make it, uh, make it even. And Willahop will launch that one forward. It's flicked on, and it's a chance here for Hibbs. Oh no, it's through. Johan. Kingsley get does enough. Fantastic for Stephen Kingsley. Devlin then will play it up. Oda. Collects it. Oda now spinning around. Oda looking for options, looking for support. Finds Atkinson. Atkinson now to Lowry. Lowry back out to Oda. And this is decent here, but we need to make something happen now. It's played through the middle. Oda's running through here. It's Oda. Oda! Oh, brilliant! Oda! He got the winner against St. Mirren. He's got the equaliser here. I don't know how he's doing it, but Oda is proving that he can be our main man from that right hand side that he just seems to run in and cause all sorts of problems he's got pace he's got trickery he's, he's beginning to show he's got an eye for goal as well now brilliant finish from oda he puts it in the back of the net good movement for hearts and we needed that and we have got that we're back in the game before half time great time to score 32 minutes gone on the clock hearts won hibernian won oh nice turn for cochrane now it's to neuenhoff neuenhoff can he time this runny cochrane he can Cochrane's on to this. What can Cochrane do? Can he get it back to Mackay? He can. Mackay running in. No, oh, boy. One hand that save for the keeper. Brilliant save for the keeper. I think Stephen Kingsley's picking up a yellow. I don't really care. But you need to see the replay. Let's see if Oda can whip a good ball in. Looks dangerous to be fair. Halkett was there. Didn't go on to it. And we need to win this or else that is terrible for us, man. We had so many players back there that could have got to that. And we somehow got none of them on it. And now Hibbs, we a counter. Brilliant tackle for Cochrane. Stopping Hibbs. Oh, but then we give it straight back to them. What are we doing? What are we doing? And will we be caught here? Will we be punished? We could... Oh, no, we could be. We could be. But we are punished. And that is fucking embarrassing. That is embarrassing. We won the ball back. We gave it away. And 
Lafondre just walked it around us here. I mean, what is that? And we're going to go into the break, guys. Two one down. Absolute joke. Literally last kick of the ball. Almost last kick of the ball. Anyway, Barry McKay's just losing it there. Lowry wins it back. Can Lowry do anything? Can Lowry? Could we get an equaliser? How great would that be? Lowry got something for us here. It's Liam Boyce. Liam Boyce still with the ball. Boyce to Lowry. It's Devlin. Oh, Devlin. I don't know what that is. Devlin gets it back. It's, ha it's half time. It's poor. Edge of the box. Messing about. We're unable to pull the trigger and find a shot or find something. Um, Boyce hasn't really done much for me. I'm thinking about Shanklin. I'm thinking about Tagawa. We will look at these options. We'll consider them right now. But we're going to just get into the second half. We can keep the game hopefully to 2-1 and maybe try and find an equaliser and obviously we want to win this but it's crucial that we do not concede the next goal because if they if they go 3-1 up then it's oh my god look at these deflections look at these deflections hey right, guys that's a brilliant tackle but we lose it again we lose it again we've been done in here Good tackle finally for Cochrane. Now Hearts need to get forward. Barry McKay. McKay to Boyce. Boyce. Oh, and if that gets through, man. If that gets through, Boyce. Lowry. It's Oda. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, come on. It annoys me how we just can't do some simple passes, honestly. It, it does get on my tits how we just can't make those final passes work when we get into good areas and we just give it away and it's so unnecessary. It's through to LaFondra. Good save from Sander Clark. There will be a throw-in, though, to Hibernian. Beginning to sweat new guys. It's beginning to get to squeaky bum time and a good tackle. Come on, Oda needs to get forward. Oda needs to go here. Oda, can he continue his run? Oda to Lowry. Devlin. 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 Needs to get forward for Hibs, get all their men back. It's Boyce. Boyce now out to Atkinson. Atkinson here, getting forward, looking to pick out somebody. It's... Oh, it's Barry McKay. Oh, my God, Barry McKay did get a shot there, but it was deflected, unfortunately. Hibernian are coming forward again and they put it wide, Sander Clark came out I think he'd done just enough to maybe put the Hibernian player off either way it did go out for a goal kick wide of the target, Oda now to Boyce, back to Oda Boyce is running, Oda's running but I think we're running out of time we're running out of, running out of stamina it's Devlin now, Devlin to Atkinson, this could be the chance, Atkinson now getting forward it's Atkinson Atkinson with the ball, it's back to Oda Oda does well Oda cuts back. It's Lowry. It's Lowry's shot blocked and just couldn't find a way through there. Maybe to use the counter attacking ability to good effect. And now it's Johan. And that's a tackle and it might be worth it to be fair. Anything that breaks that to be an encounter might be a positive thing to do. And Sandra Clark comes out, grabs it with both hands, and now Hearts need to get forward again here. It's Barry McKay. Oda. Oda's still going, Oda. Oda now to Boys. Boys, can he get through the middle? Barry McKay, Oda, Atkinson. Atkinson's looking good here. Atkinson, can he get across then? I think he's won a corner. He has, right. Oda, delivery needs to be good. It's not bad. It's, oh, it's going to be another corner that we just can't seem to plant on a heart's head. Right, we made some subs. Another corner about to come in this time from George Grant. It's not bad. It's in the middle. Is he gonna score? Oh, do something. We haven't done anything there. It's George Grant again. Grant. Grant spin. How can spins? He takes a shot. How Walla caught with the save and the burning then holding on again and we tried. We're getting closer, but we just cannot seem to get level in this game. And we've won it back here. Come on. Barry McKay. McKay here has to be good. Cannot waste this chance. Through it's, it's Boyce. Boyce! Oh, he hits it right at Wallacott again. What is that? Boyce is through the middle. And just when you think Boyce can't really miss it and he's going to make something happen, he hits it right at the goalkeeper. Very disappointing. Tagawa. Out to Mackay. Shanklin making a run. Barry Mackay 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 rebound. Oh, I just couldn't get onto it, man. It's, it's Boyce. 
Can we get through here? We can't. We got it back. We grant. It's Nirenhoff. Mackay needs to do something. He's done nothing. And that could give Hibbs a chance. Can Hibbs counter? They've got it forward. It's Lafondre. Oh no, and we've been caught at the back here. It's in towards Johan. And just like that, there's a counter on the break. It's 3 1 Hibernian. And that will probably put this game beyond us. Just when you thought we were pushing, we were pushing. But Hibernian on the counter. Too quick, too good. Don't need to see a replay. Seen enough. Johan with the goal. He adds to Lafondre's two. And oh, now we can't even string a couple of passes together. And as the head's gone here for Hearts, it might be. It could be a case of being all over. Kingsley needs to try and get to this. It's, oh, Hibernian are looking to finish it now. Oh my God, it's off the post. And look at that, it's off the post straight to Johan. It's all going Hibs' way now. And that's it, game is done. The game is done. We're not going to be, we're not going to be winning this one, unfortunately. So Hibs may have lost to Rangers, but they're going to beat us. And the gap is, is going to be back where it was, essentially. Oh my God, now it's Boyle running through. Hibs are beginning to open us up here. We, I mean, we tried to go for it, and it, it's just... I mean, it could, we, we, we came so close to getting level on a multiple occasions, and we just didn't take the chances, and that's came back to haunt us, man. Came back to haunt us big time, Forrest. It's George Grant. We need something to happen here, and it's just not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore. Alan Forrest tries to cut back. Still Forrest with the ball. It's Boyce. Boyce turns around, great turn for Boyce, but again, hits it straight at Willacott. And you just have to wonder, at 2-1, if we had better finishing, could we have won this game? And I think we could have, to be fair. But Hibs have just, they stuck in there. And we committed men forward, and when they got their chance, they took it. And when it went 3-1, the floodgates kind of did just open. And unfortunately, we can't close those floodgates. Those floodgates are fucking flooding us at the moment. We're drowning. It's Boyce. Boyce to Mackay. Mackay. It's Lauren Shankland. Takes a shot. Takes a block. Doesn't go the way we want it to. And that's it, guys. It's going to finish here in the Edinburgh Derby. It's finished. Hibernian 5. Hearts 1. I'm very disappointed with that. We'll have to give a post-match in. A few Rangers have beat St. Johnston by 5 goals to 1. St. Mirren drew. So, I mean, St. Mirren didn't get those points back on us. Um, wish us to dent a few. Yeah, real blow. We've all got to improve. I think the best thing is now, though, we get three weeks off, and that will mean the full team gets time to... The lads, we were strong enough physically. Um, I think with these three weeks off and the fact that we're going to get players back to full strength, that is the best thing that could have happened to us, and it looks like Alex Lowry is coming into the club and joining permanently. We already agreed this deal, but I guess it's going to happen again, so here comes Alex Lowry into the club. We'll shake his hand. I mean, we've already agreed to sign him. But maybe this is the paperwork, maybe this is it getting finalised, I don't know. Maybe he's going to throw his Rangers shirt in the bin at this point, I'm not too sure. But Lowry is officially a Hearts player. We all knew it was happening, and it, it has happened, so yeah, there you go. Lowry becomes a Hearts player, so... Alright guys, um, difficult, difficult to take that. Uh, we were the better side, but again, we just didn't, we didn't get the win, didn't we? No, and we needed the win. We really did. Uh, we, we really needed to win that, so I don't know what we do going forward. It is transfer. Window time, though. We've got the Scottish Cup coming up this month. That's, that's a must-win game. We have to go far in that. We have also got the transfer window open, and uh, we might be making a few signings. So I think we've listed a few players here. We've listed these guys here. So these are players that potentially could be looking to move and players that we would be potentially interested in signing. We've got Daniel Armstrong of Kilmarnock. He's 26 years old, 68 overall. I think he would give us a bit of option out in the wing. So, yeah, he's a possibility. We've got uh, Kino Bacchus, good midfielder. He's going to improve. He's got all the physical stats that you want. I think he could be a good option in there. Uh, Johan Ayunga can play up front, can also play on the wing. Again, I think he would give us options. For um, when Shanklin's not there, he'd also give us options on the wing. Could be a very solid player. We're still waiting to see what the final scout report is. Uh, Lyle Cameron is a player for the future. This guy is only 21 and already 66 overall. I think he could be 
a fantastic player in the future. We have Owata, who's not getting a game at Celtic. Is he someone that we'd potentially be interested in bringing in? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'd need to see his stats, but for right now, it's probably a no. And then Michael Johnson, a former Celtic player who is currently a free agent, and the fact that we could sign him on a free and just pay his wages is very appealing to me. Plus, he's a winger, he's got pace, and... Uh, we need that. Look at that. Acceleration 84, sprint speed 85, agility balance 85. He's he's what we need in the wing, and I think he'd be a great option, and he'd be right in there competing with the likes of Oda, Tagawa, Mackay, and Forrest for those starting positions. So, yeah, there's a couple of players, guys, that we've shortlisted. Now, if you have any other recommendations, then please leave them down below. We are going to hopefully make a few signings come the end of January. So stay tuned for that. I will catch you in the next one. It was great to beat St Mirren. Not so great to lose Edinburgh Derby. But let's build on it, guys. Let's build on it. We can put that Edinburgh Derby behind us. Like I said, we've got three weeks off now. The players are going to come back. Everyone's going to be fully fit. And then we can show the league. We can show Scotland what we've got when we've got a fully fit heart side. And I think that we can start picking up points now. We don't need to worry about Europe. We don't have that distraction. No more midweek football. We can concentrate on the league domestically. And I think we will pick up a lot of points going forward. Hopefully we can, guys. Anyway, that's it. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.